Na hango tinkatandiki. I am Reverend Moses Tembo, parish priest in Rengoma St. Andrews, Church of Uganda. It is in Kabarole, Archdeaconary. We are very glad and happy because our Archbishop has come to visit us, has come to see his own, has come to see the sheep, his people. We thank, we thank God because since Corona came to Uganda, the Archbishop had never visited any parish. And now we are very glad and happy. The whole place, the whole Western, we are very happy. And us as the people of Rengoma and uh, the entire uh, Christian community, we are very happy. We are, uh, we are celebrating because our Father, our own, our Shepherd has come to see us. So the whole, all the people, the Christians are happy and we are, we are expecting a bigger blessing from Him. And we are expecting a big uh, word that is going to bless us and is going to heal us all. Because when, uh, when He speaks, being used by, 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 by our, our Father in heaven, we are all blessed. And all about him, we are praying that the Lord inspires him, that the Lord uses him, and every place he will reach. We thank God for this kind of wonderful visitation. This is like how Christ entered Jerusalem. People were expecting him, and we are very happy. They laid down everything. For us, spiritually, we are very happy, and we are greatly humbled because our Archbishop has come. We praise God and we thank God, and we also pray for him, that God uses him, that God inspires him, that God anoints him in every kind of uh, way. We are very happy and blessed. Also, wish him success in everything he will do in our place. Also, bless our, our Bishop Robert Sembo, is who is with him, that the Lord uh, anoint them all. We thank God and we praise God. Amen. I am Reverend Moses Tembo, with all nurses. I'm called Irene Linda Mugisa, the woman member of parliament for Fukuoto City. I'm here today. I've come to join the clergy to welcome the Archbishop of Church of Uganda to Fukuoto City. We are very happy and excited and we are very optimistic that his visit is going to strengthen our faith the more. Uh, I call upon all the Christians in Renzori Diocese to come tomorrow in big numbers so that you are able to come our Archbishop. I am Reverend Canon Gladys Mbale, Diocese of Renzori, but uh, I'm coming from Kubo, Paris Church of Uganda, and uh, St. John's Cathedral Dinari. Today we are very happy. Uh, we are here waiting for the Archbishop who is coming from, from um, Umadu. Today has uh, visited Umadu at Dikonari, and we are waiting for him to come here at Rengoma and many people are happy to meet the bishop and we have a great desire to see him.
patients from this of this point of time, then Mama was very good. We are happy about the world to go on his mind. And we come out of the world, we have a senior sign a prompt. We are starting to start Sahir. We want to start this earlier, because after here, then we have to show what we are doing. It's just because I'm not going to work with what part of the Canada for the PTC, but I think I'm going to start with the Canada for the Google, and we can't manage the Canada. So we can not work with the Google, and we can't manage the Canada for the Google. Very good at peace. So that we are going to bring the Canada for the Canada for the Canada for the Canada for the Canada. So we are very proud of this community to welcome you, come forward, and say all these people are very grateful.
kuweza kusima hapo pange siye iku enungi Kano kutuhu mkama weitu umrungi Warukuruwa nila kukusinge Kandi nukuba kurungi mwusie Kusaba imkama kumahangazi Kandi kusaba imkama weitu umrungi Muhammadeza katuka na mbiroli Okwebebera kurungi ya bantube Aba mkwasize ukurolera Nukwa imkama weitu umrungi Habe ho kukurungi, habe ho kusinge, habe ho kurakurana Mkama kwa toro Kandi Nabo abahewe Ukwebembera hamu nabo Mkama abahu mkisa Ukwebembera kurungi Mkama turakugiza Tunyumisi ibarali yao Habu kurakurana Nabione birarorwa Birbirungi mkama kwa toro Kandi Tukwewa na mkama agandi Mkama gona Deto kusinge Deta kurakurana Mkama basisa urumaru wa mbaga zaawe Ibaradi yao ni ngira kuni mzibwa Habwa wa Yesu Christo wa mtibwe Kapte na kereza mtibwa lopo kakme tulida Na mbebezi basen kukakme Kukusige kumusiyoni Hanga isito kukusubo zibuona Tukuza kusima baana bawa imkama Habwa Yesu yaito yotuhairi Aku nubatikan zaman tu, waktu ini sok singe. Aku nubatikan zaman tu, bicara mukar yang semeri rohani. Obah aku mukisa ini kama, obah aku sobora, obah aku beli beli sobrungi, yang koragan nungi na zaman tu bensin. Anjo aku mukisa beli sabu aku, nubali dan beli beli aku muiwa kuera. Iu Yesus Kristo mukama wajib. Alkuera, Waisale, Maishabawe, Nekundaiti Kwesengeleza, Okwatira na Kulila Kavmeti Eiti Banda, Namuna Mwena Mbezu Waiyo, Izek Sele Seyi Uwe Katuta Msebeni, Nabona Rukwara Nabo. Kwesengeleza, Yongere, Kwa Kwemulikira, Kwa Kwemulikira, Nukubiona Iba Kwara, na muna ituwa mwa kituwa mwa kihanga zikezi zikuweka zikuweka kusinge na kukena maiso wa ndeka ukosa ni uye kristu mkambo wa kusabira habili mbezi ya mpanisa kwa mkambo mpulete suvali habili mbela kuchu ipati echo haba hile zavawe mkuru Kwa kanisenu ya Uganda, the most reverend Dr. Kazimba Mgalu, umuiru wawe, na wona wa kora nago, ekaye, na wandi wona. Kusavira wa rolelez wona, umrolelez wetu, the right reverend Robin Kisembo, ekaye, wa kora nago, umrolelez wono, basa watuko ni wona. Kwa kiliza mkama, uliomu kumulikira, Nomsana kwawe, kukwamani, kandimuwaya kwera, yebembera wa mfona, awe ino kutunani zibu hawe kanisa yawe kwera, ni tewe kyo neki hawa kristayo. Ibarari yawe ni mzibweke, hawa kalisho kama wawe, omu ibarari ya Yesu Kristo mtunu wa itu. Hapa wene wawe, 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 Abang balik cuka cakap Kristu awak boleh berhak untuk korban tu bawa saya ini aku cekoh muka mata berbabi itu tu baru kerabu baik muka mata berirah aku kau saya ini atau beraya muka mata saya ini wajah pinjam bawa saya setiap hari yang gua diri bawa saya bawa nawa awi kau baca saya kau pasti simpati nebio lebok sebab para aku patol yang muat tokal yang muat kat tokal yang lelua tokal kerabu ikan orang hangi nebio na abang tu bantu aku konggera aku baca saya Walikira barusima, iwe sikristo nga dira iti sabi. Esara yekiro, kaya papur wakana, refra ni singoma, tunovis, na penepera, esara yekiro. Kutu kuchuluwa, na kuhumisi kwa mangawa wa maingi, umukamu kuona na umbujine kuona, umi yesu kristo, umijuni wa ito. Na katikane, sumele kichweka, kichikomele kukusomwa, kikaru kukepanoha, 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 Borosi kapi. 
tak semua karena itu kita pemeja apa nak pulang baru. The reading is taken from the book of Ezekiel, chapter thirty-seven. We shall read from verse one. That's all, man. Omukono ba mukama ukababul halinyowe ba trucha omoyo ba mukama yanda hansi omutang hagati kabaki tuira magufa yambunja bunja hona hona kandi dora kabagali maingi hagati yehanga kandi dora kabago mera mono yanda mberati mano umuntu amagufa ganu. Dasubona ufoka kwa mesi Adul kamu wanti Ayimu kama ruhanga Iwe kwa manyere Yanga ambira hati Yanga kamu Yanga ambira hati Ragura hama kufa gano Ogambe ogagambele oti Inyo hama kufa kwa mere Muhure ekigambo cha mkama Nuko Agambele mkama ruhanga Hala hama kufa gano hati Dora Letasha, Uroya, Umulinyue Muleba Gomezi Ramkaga Kandilita, Elinyo Halinyue Nibaletera Nibaletera Enyama Nibasweka Oruho Nibatamu Uroya Kandil Muleba Gomezi Kandil Mulema Yangu Ninyo wa Mkama Nuko Narabura Nkoku Yangambire Kandu kukumkama ni ilagura, akaba hukienda. Kandu dora, ukutengeta kwensi, ama gufa gatiaran hamu, igufa ni gufa etahiyari. Narora, kandu dora, habaho, haruho, ebenywa, neyama, niza, oruhu, wadasweka, haruguru. Baitu, hatagoho, hatagoho goya, Omeluko, ramayana. Nuko ya ngambe rati. Ragura hali uruwoya. Ragura mwana umutu. Ogambele, ogagambele. Ogambele, ogagambele uruwoya oti. Nuko agambele mkama ruhanga ati. Runga hambeho ina iwe uruwoya. Ohuhe, habano, habaisirwe, bado bomezi. Nuko na ragura Oku ya ngegire, uruwaya, uratahamu, baba bomezi. Nibagamba, nibagamba ngu, ama kufagaitu, oku nihera kwa itu kufire. Tumaliruweko, kimahura, kigamba chamu kama.
kandi abazene sabona na basisi bakabane bamwira hayo kumuhura kandi na abafarisayo na abahandiki bashiye mane bagamba umuntu ayikiriza abasisi kandi aliana kandi akabachwero rufumo runungu muntu kyo muri inywe anya kwine ntama 10 obwaraba buzirweho em atasugazirie tienda mwenda umuirungu na kuratira ege nya kuzire okwicho kwa kizora kandi kwa kizora agitama begage asemeriwe kandi kwa taho muka ayete nganja nise na batahibe na bagambira atumsemere uhamna nyogu baitu mzo hile tama yange ewa hile uzire ni bagambira anti Nuko haliba ukusemele kwa mwiguru, obo msisi omu anyakwe garukamu, okira bakirire, chienda mwenda, haba tasira kwe garukamu. Rundi mkaziki anyakwine rupia ikumi, obo araba abzirweho emu, atabakirize tabaza, na simoro mungu, na yekambo kusero kicho waligizora. Waligizora, ayete nganjanize, na batahibe, na gamba ati, musemele kwa nanyowe, baitu mzo hile, epuya yange, ewe hile uzire. Mbagambe ranti, nupo, haroho kusemele kwa, haroho kusemele kwa mmaiso gaba maleka wa aruhanga, kwa msisi omu, anya kweka mkamu. Ama kuru wa marungi, ako kujuma kwa hitu.
Secretariat, your role is the National Secretariat staff, Avaroho, the new National Secretary. To me, I'm not the president of the role is go to Tangira, our special, our Zing, our Zili, but I'm ready to go to the National Fellowship, Avaroho, to me, ambassadors of Christ, our Zing, our ambassadors of Christ. The name of Avaroho. Good. Can you acquire a Sunday school? Acquire a Sunday school? Okay, come and see me. Can you have a canon apolo? Copy to copy to see, acquire. Baroho. Can you have a canon apolo? Acquire Baroho. Can you have a canon apolo? Acquire Baroho. Can you have a canon apolo? Acquire Baroho. Can you have a canon apolo? Baitu, tuanza, upa tangira, doctor Meroping. Tuanza tangira wa wa security ya wali, wali zoe singe, tuwe na hara tuwe zoe kuruingi, kani usa hapa tuwe zoe kona, tuanza sima muna wa security, tuwe tangira, tangira na media, media staff, media houses tuwe zoe mu, awali mchikaro kimi mwenye na mtangiri iruwe, onkama waitu. Awe mbele zwa government, awe tini sasa hapa tuwe mu. Now, of course, about the government. Okay. But my son, Prince Wakchwamba, Kekeruko College, now we are Aroho. Are you ready? Okay, very good. That's the same choir now, Baroho. Come as you want to thank you. That's the choir, Rizori. Come as you want. So government officials, to me na our kuru batalibam, to go on the fight, to angira, commissioner Kalso Kalhanu, to angiri a vote, one of several things, to go on the fight, to angira, to the person LC threes, na our councillors are ready to go. Government is ready to take their hands. New na to angiri we, to mukama, wait, to go on the fight, to angira, to our DCs. Na ara sisi mpangiri wa kama wiki Yesu Kristo ba chia pa sana zaba districts mwe na mpangiri wewe chia pa sana zaba districts haro host wai tu haro hano no nyanga wa sofa ubu ba kikaho then tuguanza kutangira ba MPs ona ba MPs members of parliament. Tini na wafuatwa central, ukitini sali surbunda kama simwe, tuna pasta Dixon, wakawole election, tola shi, na tangu lugwa, na tangu lugwa, kandi hati ni tangira, ukitini sa minister, wengine, kama ni zilichoka. Victoria Rusoke Atwoch Tugonza kutangira muno Atwoch mama wabana Mwewa lukuhija Awa Awa kuru kutuwa mbukawa kwa atoro Members of the royal family Na awa Wanyoro wa mkama Nyewe na mutangiriwe Kwa mkama wiki yesu kristo Mwenikirize Mutangiriwe Mkenyi mwa mbaganda za hakati umulitwe Sazara wa mwereza waitu Sazara wa bishop waitu Kwa hali kwa hali kwa hali kwa hali kwa hali Sazara wa bishop Kwa hali 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 So hafuli kutangiri hile muno Na family yona yungu rolelezi Gonza kwa sima wale au kuhija Tukungi sisa Mr. Coronelis, you are a very famous man. You are a very famous man. You are a very famous man. Oito a moto.
The reason why we are here is because God loved it to be so. I want to appreciate you and Mama Lillian for receiving us so many. And I want to appreciate the Archdeacons, the Canonies, all leadership of this diocese. I appreciate all the political civic leaders, the street uh, for receiving us so many. The schools and institutions, thank you very much. Ever since we came on Thursday, we feel at home. We have been blessed so much by your hospitality, generosity, and spirituality. You know, hospitality, generosity, and spirituality are interwoven. Hospitality. Hospitality. Uh, I want to appreciate all of you. And uh, let me appreciate uh, the lay readers, the clergy, for the great work you are doing. I want to appreciate a very good uh, working relationship between our church and the other denominations. Uh, uh, and I appreciate you for coming. I thought I did make a statement since I'm the chair. Uh, I am the chair of presidents for the Interjust Council of Uganda. You know, you are the chairman of the TVK, and you are the member of the TVK. We do a lot together. Okay. Let me bring greetings from uh, Mama Margaret Nakai Kazimba. Uh, she, she prayed for me this morning mm. and she sent greetings. Uh, she is not able to travel with me because she recently had a Laparoscopic uh, lumbar spine surgery from Germany. From Samuel Bambi, as we I uh, bring, bring greetings from our children. I was able to talk to them. We are blessed with the four boys. Moses, who is now a reverend. Moses, Peter, who is a, a computer specialist. Enoch, who is a pilot. And also an instructor of pilots in Soroti, And the Joseph, a medical doctor. We have three daughters in love. Daughters in love. Daughters in love. Uh, and the five grandchildren so far. And three 
amejikuru katani so for I am, I, am, I am so grateful that you gave me a chaplain. Comes from uh, Kanungu. And also, Salongo Godwin at Kwatile, the intercessor of the vehicle, he comes from Liban. <laughs> So that's uh, the team. I want to appreciate you all ever since we came. They are all like mothers, you know, head of late. We have been together and uh, the team, thank you so, so much. May God bless you. Thank you very much. I really want to thank God for uh, the peace and stability in this diocese. As the ninth Archbishop, I usually get uh, like a uh, Letters from different dances. We have this, uh, this dances, nothing. And if there are some conflicts and other, you settle them. Conflicts and all these things. They are always there, but I call them normal abnormalities. <laughs> so thank you very much, and thank you so much for taking care of your leaders. Especially during the first lockdown, second lockdown, thank you very, very much. I came out around that time because I was made an Archbishop first in March 2020, followed by Rokodan. So some people have been calling me COVID Archbishop. <laughs> Archbishop or COVID. Others have been calling me uh, uh, scientific Archbishop. Archbishop uh, They call me television Archbishop. Archbishop television. Actually, because of that. Because we minister using television. Now we have been able to get our own television of the Church of Uganda. Anglican Church, Church of Uganda Twin Television. It's called uh, Church of Uganda Family TV. Yeah. This talks about your generosity. Even when I'm So yesterday I got a message from the station manager. That uh, next next Tuesday our, uh, we are going to be put on DSTV. We can DSTV on Tuesday at 11 a.m. So then you will be able to get our TV everywhere. So thanks be to God. I want to thank God for all of you. And the fact that you are still alive, we thank God. If God a mighty hand clap. God 
Center has given us oxygen in plenty. Still God is providing. Dr. Abakirengu, Agatha Mulita, and Haroba, and Kong, and Yamdona, the Bagona, or where one of us is, but I'm going to Kumara, who is your Kamcharo. We want to appreciate God. The Bones of Sima Ranga. The way we are seated. Nobody is competing with another for oxygen. God is an oxygen provider. We worship Him. We exalt Him. We magnify Him. He is the God of life. The God of the past is the God of the present. But we have lost our friends. Uh, retired bishop uh, of uh, Mad West Nile. We lost many clergy. But if you are still alive, you should really pray. Uh, today I'm talking about the whole of this visit, I'm talking about uh, hope uh, in the valley. The passage you read in Ezekiel chapter 37 It's about the valley of dry bones Between 571 these men and women had uh, gone in, uh, were taken as, were taken in exile. They suffered there. They lost hope. They didn't know what to do. But God appeared to Ezekiel. And gave him a message in Ezekiel 37. But uh, look at these bones. There were so many dry bones. Do you think these bones can really have life again? And uh, Ezekiel said, I don't know. He couldn't manage to answer such a question. The message was, do you think these people can come out of captivity? Do you think they can have life again? Do you think they can have hope again? Do you think they can go back in their country? Do you think they can really come back to life? And he said, I don't know. This was a tough message. But uh, ten promises were given. The, the first promise was, I will cause a breath into them. I will let I will let sinews on them. I will cause fresh to come upon them. I will cover them with, with skin. I will put a breath in them. I am going to open the grave. I'm going to bring them out of the grave. I'll bring them back to their land. I'll put my spirit in them. Those are ten promises. A dry bone situation. Many people are living, but their lives are experiencing dryness. No money. It's like a dry bone experience. Our economy today is challenging. Not only Uganda, many countries, 
I, 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 I was really amazed that the, the, uh, our people back in Chagwe in Bukunja, where I come from. Where I come from. Uh, and I said, but they gave me an answer because of the war between Ukraine and Russia. <laughs> So the situation now, everywhere, everyone is really affected by the economy because of the war in Russia and Ukraine. But certain thing we should learn to stay without it. We should learn not to be extravagant because this is a situation of the valley. And in the valley of dry bones, we have so many marriages. They are experiencing a dryness. And some people are married, they are together. But they already separated because they are still staying in the same you, you see them coming out of the same house, but they are already separated. Actually, this is a place that The wife sleeps at the extreme end. The wife sleeps at the extreme end. The husband at the extreme end. Of Chara na biyam hamukoma gwe gwa mazongo to fuli na msaita na wali hamukoma gundu. And the devil sleeps between them. Agatso, agatso. Stani kido nene. And they are married. And they may even be driving. Uso kusanga mchari na motokai na mweo nene. And they wake up in the morning. It has become marriage, uh, uh, answer questions marriage. Marriage people are in except you here present. <laughs> yes. That's funny. And there are some men who are suffering in their marriages. There are some women who are suffering in their marriages. They are beaten. Beaten by their husbands. They are beaten. It is so sad. And that's, what, that's why you have gender-based violence. Sometimes you find even those women very responsible women, they are beaten by their husbands. Seriously. And but the men, because, because of our culture, the, the men just, I can't cry, I'm a man. They will say nothing. They are not in cases in, in, the, in our courts, reported by men who are beaten by their wives. They just say, I can't report that I am a man. But there are some women in Fari. They are perishing because of money. They are perishing because of many, many things. One man, some women even, they, they make a practice, a rehearsal. Before her husband comes back, they will ask her how, how she's going to be abusing him. <laughs> she abuses the world. And you must have to go to the CK. You can have a rehearsal before you come. You know, I think it's a good time. So many of you are handy. They are managers, but they are only dry. Love has totally gone, no love at all. You could call me, you could call me, and you could always say you are beautiful, you look like watermelon. These days there isn't anything. 
Kahuaho, may God help us. Kamat Kodiri, the valley of dry bones. Hanga, Yakuruma Makufa Gomedi. Let me share this with you. I get many phone calls. But I remember I visited my, my mentor, Archbishop Unko, when he retired. This is what he told me. I used it even to give separate numbers to some people who have watched me. But now, look what all these phones in here. Nobody calls this morning. <laughs> so I am the one who calls. Oh, how are you, sir? Oh, hey, are you still there? <laughs> are some people, is that man still alive? You go, you go, and, you go and ask members of parliament who lost the election. <laughs> when they were still in the office, people were going early in the morning and they get breakfast, they come on the time. When they lost, nobody's coming. <laughs> We have friends because you have money. When you become bankrupt, you never see them again. You have friends because you are still an icon. You are a bishop. Or the bishop, wait. You are a pastor, you are a father. Pastor, you are a father. You are a leader here, a senior, senior leader. Senior, um, I know that because I'm a leader by training. I trained in 1985. No, no, From the choir, then I joined. I, I put a uniform. By then, it wasn't like yours. We have people who are retired in the are they are, they are suffering from loneliness. They are in their homes. They are suffering from what to do. We have widows. They are suffering in their homes. When they are, the husbands were still alive, people were always coming and coming. Today, nobody is coming because there is nothing to eat. But you know, but the widows who are still rich, those widows they always get visitors. <laughs> but Mother Zunion, I want to encourage you when you have some uh, marital and uh, sexual discussions, don't you invite the widows, set them free. Because you invite them and you are talking, you are, you are praising each other. Oh, my husband, today is the day. These are widows. You need to be sensitive. Pray the Lord. Even amidst your hopelessness, God is our hope. Even when nobody cares, He is your God. He can prophesy life in these dry bones. He can prophesy life in your job. Even when the people you are working with are really hating you, God cannot abandon you. Our country is experiencing dryness because of corruption. Many people are corrupt. Recently, the minister pretended to be a patient and went in the, in the hospital. And, uh, and uh, she was asked, money, bring money first. You know, she, she put on the paddle and covered her head. She was, the, 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 the nurse could not recognize her. So we have many people in our hospitals. 
who will never even attend to expecting mothers before they before they, they give them bride aba kusana kawo bayingi marwa romu wali atakama yaka senta takumfuata kan kun mwira radi no kawo corruption obile bwenguzi we have issues of of strikes twine osume wokwe wokana kama kararango mu bikari tali people are striking masomero the only problem we have now is that when, when people strike, then they are tended to. Abantu barukumara kwenye gama kararango hati ahu ba 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 holi tizi diabo. I want to pray that we shall have a better way of handling our issues. Ingonza kusabanti tu kiro mli mo kusogikiri ukuta hira mo songa zaitu stanzi. Dialogue. Ukubaza hamu. Dialogue. Kuikiraniza. Discussion. Ukubaza tu katika kani. Talking to each other. Ukubaliza angana. Instead of talking about each other. Kuto mchikali tu ukubaza hanzo. Discussion. Ukubaza hivi. Meeting and talk. Tanga tanga na tu kubaza hivi. Instead of striking. Mchikali tu geno kwe 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 na kama karara. But also making good decisions. Hakira tu ikare nukuto hano. I want to I want to appreciate the the president. For inviting uh, the teachers to talk to them. That's very important. Because it, it wasn't really good. These are arts, these are scientists, and so I was wondering now how I'm going to handle it. See, because they are all important to them. They are all important. And it's very important. In Zonke, that one must be a teacher. In Zonke, <laughs> you know, I've talked about other things. When I came to that, I am a stronger.
appreciate the clergy. Because they are, they are paid less, sometimes not, but they are going to go for strike. <laughs> Preach the gospel. God cannot leave you. And he posted in this parish, they will go back and cry. And the bishop doesn't love me. Because the Christian in those parishes are, are not really generous. And yet they are, they are very important people coming from those, those churches. And Kunu, Avantua. Let me challenge you today. If you are in this congregation, and you have a lay reader, you have a pastor, a clergy in your area, and a clergy who is conducting your services, and he is just riding a bicycle, and raising, riding a bicycle to, to come and conduct your services. Even, even, if, even if you know services, and then you, you, you expect him to bless you. Whenever he raises up his hand to bless you, that blessing comes with sorrow. <laughs> I remember one day I was a deacon and I was posted in near Nachimiz, near Ginger. And I had, I, I had my bicycle in 1990. I was riding that bicycle and even wave to the people. Now somebody died and they brought a dead body from Kampala. They came for me to conduct a service. I told them I have my bicycle. They, they said, don't worry. We, we, came, we came with a vehicle. They had a Mercedes Benz. So I, I sat in front. And you know, the, uh, the window was rolled down. I was waving to the side. <laughs> And, and I preach the gospel. You know, the way you travel, Determines the way you deliver. <laughs> the way you sleep, the house you sleep in, determines the way you deliver. When you have a, a minister who's sleeping in a house which is leaking, the summon is will not be a good summon. Then because I went in the mosque, I preached the gospel. And I made the other call. People came to Jesus. Now after the service, I went to the service. I asked for my vehicle to take me back. <laughs> they told me they went back at Kampala <laughs> We have parishes there, dry, dry parishes. Let me tell you people here, please, 
Some of the parish priests here are crying because of where they are posted, because of where people are. Who are not crying at all? I'm not talking about, I'm talking about other areas. <laughs> because I am the Archbishop of Uganda, this sermon is not only for you here, it's for the entire country. But it's for everybody. We have Churches like a dry bones. The head of Leite always want to take over. This is the parish priest, the head of Leite, unless you do what I want. We can't stop here. No! We respect your leaders. You cannot be blessed. Pray the Lord. Talk to, talk to your neighbor, are you hearing that? God bless you, God bless you, God bless you, God bless you. The Valley of Dry Bones. Listen to this, this is what happened. The prophecy was done. And the priest came. And, and life came back to the dry bone. I want today to prophesy that this marriage is which are, are, are dry. Love disappeared a long time ago. Some people are still together, especially women, because of children. I cannot go because I let me keep my children here. When they go in the senior four, then I will go. But then when they, they pass senior four, let me wait until they go in senior six. Maybe let me wait until they go in the university. Until we should say, now where am I going here? Let, let me be here and keep my children. There are some men, some men who are falling in love with their, with their how, uh, house girls. The house, the house girl comes when he doesn't look well. But, but they take the cream, milk cream. Yeah. They take the cream, everything. After, after, after a few days, the skin is glittering. And now, this gentleman, and, and some of the women say, Would you please do this? Telling this girlfriend. Go and, and ensure you make our bed. Go and ensure you take water in the bathroom for my husband. Then when, when he goes there in the bathroom, ah, you really look nice in these days. <laughs> If you have a girlfriend, respect her, a house girl, respect her here. But if you have a girlfriend, respect her here. But if you have a girlfriend, respect her here. I am here to declare life in those marriages. I'm here to declare life in those churches. We need to call, take care of us, the one who was. Who is? Who will be? The same God. Yesterday. Today. And tomorrow. It has not changed. This is the God who understands you. He knew, he knew you are able to give way to be praised by the bishop because you are serving God. Some other people are complaining. I will not, not go back to that church because they always introduce people. They don't introduce me. They don't introduce you, but God knows you. 
The message, the message is about to hope. It's about renewal. About recommitment. About resurrection. About reconciliation. About reformation. About resuscitation. About revival. It's about to, about to renewal. This is the message I'm sharing. The message of trust is love. Excessive love. Extreme love. Extraordinary love. Extravagant love. Extensive love. Expensive love. Extra, extra, extra love. The love of Jesus. You. Who cannot abandon you? The one who knew you before you came. In Jeremiah 29, 11, he says, For I know the wonderful plans I have for you. He knows us. And he cannot forget us. And today, I want to invite you. Today, I want to invite you. Let me share this with you. I come from a, a poor family. My father had three wives. Sometimes four. Depending on the season. <laughs> A season of coffee in other way. A season of cotton in other way. I was their first child. They separated when I was one year old. And my mother went with me in Katwe, Muziko. My mother took care of me. Let me invite you ladies. Even when your husband doesn't take care about children, do. You never know what the, what the children do. And now God elevated me because of Jesus, whom I accepted as my personal Savior on the 7th of March 1980 and at 9 a.m. And God started elevating me. And now, Stepmothers who chased me out from they could gather everybody when I go back in the village. Come and see our son. Let me tell you this. A successful failure, a successful person will never be an orphan. When you are a failure, and God has raised me from a heart, from a heart, to a state house, from nowhere, from grace, from grace, from shame, shame of faith, from labor to favor, from a te test, the testimony, from a mess, a mess, the message. That's what Jesus does. And he has a tendency of calling a nobody to become somebody in front of everybody. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. But something which had really kept me behind. 
Because even though I started loving Jesus for some time, but uh, I had taken some time to confess. I, I, I was in the choir, but uh, I said, anyway, I am, I am in the choir anyway. I cannot confess that I'm born again. But one day, then, uh, uh, there was a, a, a woman called Margaret. And this is where I learned some of the lessons. She was a choir mistress. And I was also a choir leader in different churches. And I had come closer to Jesus. But then I thought this would be my wife. And we are always coming together. And I, you know, smile at her. <laughs> but uh, I, I, I never told her I love you. I want you to be my wife. We could come and sing together. So, so, la, ti, do. Because I sing best. But one day I had one of the one of the people we are talking about to her. And they were saying, but that lady, Margaret, she's a good girl. Let us persuade her to be married to so and so. But they are not talking about her. <laughs> <laughs> then I said, oh, I'm in trouble now. <laughs> now I composed myself. <laughs> and when I say, I love you, I want you to be my wife. <laughs> Let me tell you. Because of that confession, she is now my wife for 38 years. Confession is possession. A person believes with his heart and he confesses with his mouth that Jesus is Lord. We know you, you are a good person, teacher, but you have never confessed. This is your time. I know what the devil is going to do. I stand again of Kaliza Gambi. He will tell you ah, that's a, ah, that man can preach by now. <laughs> Some others come to see an archbishop. Avant Avant is a good archbishop. The man is really tall. He's a man. It should go beyond that. You should meet Jesus Christ as your personal savior. I want to confess today, Jesus my savior. I don't want to invite those who accepted you already. Whoever Thank you very much.
van de la peruana. Ahí hay una sustancia. La recta de un Por el mar abajo. Yo oye. El que crece. Para un poco más. La comarilla. La sustancia de la Es justo un poco más. Acá le casa para el mar Kwanza kusiwa mukama yuko kurungi, awabaza na baabano, awakuli ya kalia wa imukama, kana baabuuru baadhi kwa muda kwa sababu kwa kwa sababu 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 Bakayo mesti buat apa nanti boleh ikut kamu. Kalau yang mana pasu besar, kalau kalian kau kira, buat kamu yang baru kira, mesti kerja betul aku, betul pasu masuk dalam kamu ikut lize, kamu akan kami ikut ikut jenis, kami ikut kamu akan kamu, kamu akan kamu akan jual sot. Tuh tak angin aku buat jawab ikut kamu. Jika mana kita buat program aku, buat jawab ikut kamu. Jika itu, terus itu saya nunggu jawab orang orang kura, mesti buat moyo, mesti buat jenak kamu jika itu, terus itu kamu moyo itu. Jika sekarang rest room, rest room ini penting. And that peace of God, which concerns human understanding to be all, the knowledge of God and of His Son Jesus Christ, the blessings without sorrow of the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit rest upon all of you now and forevermore. Amen. 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 My name is Bira Catherine Price, a student at UTC Chamber, pursuing a national diploma in civil engineering. I'm here to accept Jesus Christ as my personal Lord and Savior. My name is Tita Wasama Mary. From today, I've given my life to Christ. Thank you. My name is Chacha Akala Bridget at Shop from Canon Apollo. From today, I accept God to be my personal Lord and Savior. My name is Kiomwendo Gloria from Canon Apollo Kowa PTC. I accept Jesus Christ to be my personal Savior. Praise God. Amen. My name is Barbara Vasalois from Canana Polokoa PTC. From today I've given my life to Jesus to be my personal Savior. Amen. Praise the living God. Amen. My name is Tumarami Elizabeth and I'm blessed to be here. And at this time I stand to say that I've accepted, that I've accepted Jesus as my personal Savior. We thank God for this conference, and uh, this is very important. We are very grateful for them. So, for the chaplain in Annapolis, please manage with you, these ladies. We are trying to nurture them to come through Manokole, and the UTC, you also have a chaplain there. Go and he prays with you, and continue to nurture you to come to Manokole. But what I'm saying is that I'm going to put it. And there is a blessing, blessing, Nusawara kukayo Nukawe sagama Hawa kuwa roho wetago We sagama wingi Umuiruwa marwaro gaitu Mkama kuhumugisa Uwar koroti Kandi Haroho awa kawaro hospital Na uo baino hereza Nusawara Kuhakira Baina akatentu kawa Maisa aho Nous allons avoir un peu de pression, nous allons avoir un peu de scali, mais nous allons avoir un peu de l'aide. Nous allons avoir un peu de l'aide, car nous allons avoir un peu de l'aide.
ukusasura kuona na kweki msobora utuko hereza umbu hereza bono kwa kwa church na usura kugena utunga na uherezo hundi tuicha kuhayo umeso kwa mkama ili sembo vya itu ili tuletile mkama mkama atuko lire mkuru mkama atu imukize awaire bomele hatu mkama atu garure mamano mchidambo kandi tuilo kunhero kushiaka
kandi kwa jora ngo kamera gati Rest up. 
upon them as they stand. Rest upon them in all ways. This blessing without sorrow be to you now and forevermore. Amen. Gloria thinks him forty.
merciful Lord, that's in our own benefits. And the mercy, we are good and love, you can the grounds for your table, but you never change. We thank you, Lord, for our mercy. We are your father, we ask you, precious Lord, let us be the flesh of your son, Jesus Christ. Drink his blood, so that our sinful bodies may be made clean by his body, and our soul wash with precious blood, that we may forever live in him. Almighty God, Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, we praise you and give you thanks for sending us your begotten Son to suffer and die for us for our salvation. And remember, the night he was betrayed. He drove the bread. And after giving thanks, he broke it. And he gave his disciples, saying, Take, for this is my body, which was given for you. Do this whenever you eat it, in memory of me. In the same way, he took the cup. And after giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Drink this, all of you. For this is my blood of the new covenant, which was shed for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this whenever you drink it, in the name of Olá, meu povo.
Delhi. Let me tell you, it is not yet over. Until it is over, it is still over. May I request you to stand up where, we, where you are for a special prayer. That you meet them and employ it on their needs. Now let me invite you to take a step of faith and whisper to God in your own words, inside you, the things that you'd like the Lord to do for you. Maybe three things. And you make your own prayer. <clears throat> because this God said, come to me, all of you who are weary and you have a burden, and I'll give you rest. I invite the choir to make a soft one, which is meditational, as each person goes to the throne of the Lord. And go ahead and pray. Father, I pray that you meet the your people. Father, I pray that you meet them. I pray for those who are finding life so rough and tough. Those who are sick, they are suffering. Let there be healing, Lord. Let there be healing, Lord. I pray for those who have issues at their jobs. Let there be healing. Sort them out, Master. I pray for people who have lost your hope. Let there be hope. Because you can whisper to the dry bones. Father, I pray that you minister to all these people. I want to take a step of faith and pray for this city, Fort Porto. Let there be peace. Let there be unity. Let there be reconciliation where there is this unity. I pray, Master, that you will meet all your children in this city and this diocese, I render the devil powerless, and I take the devil as a captive. I take the authority which you have given me and all of us to set these people free and free indeed. I pray, Master, that you will bring love broken families. I pray for the orphans, for the widows, for the widowers, for the destitute. I pray for every person. Thank you so much because you are here. We bless you and we exalt you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Give God a mighty hand to your party from all. And now the peace of God which transcends human understanding, keep you all in the knowledge of God and of His Son, Jesus Christ. And the blessings without the sorrow of the Father, Son, Holy Spirit, rest upon all of you, rest upon you individually, rest upon you as families, rest upon you as leaders, as children, schools, dances, rest upon every one of you. Now and forevermore,
Abga Jona, ito atunga na muno muno, ichikambo cha Arhanga. Makes him somebody without consulting anybody. Chikuru muno. In front of everybody actually. Kukoza kusimu Arhanga, habwa ichikambo cha Arhanga, especially waza naitwe as we meditate on the words of Ezekiel. Mujikirise barabiro mprogram eituine, kande takarabiro mprogram eituine mujikirise manyere avanto avanyakulio mchika rokeno. Nukusemero wa kuingi mtuikirise kande tuangirwe, tutangirirwe, na muno muno tumanyirirwe mbitini sabia itu. Wejitwe na kavanto wa wenzoro dasis, nengoza tukwa tanezahamu tangire Isavaro Rezuaitu wa Provincial ya Church of Uganda, the most reverend Dr. Stephen Samuel Kazimba Mugalu, niangale za amani na karuru na kusemeru wa kuingi. Your grace, you are most welcome. I'm all we are really grateful to God. We vale, okutekandeza ikiro kinu, kande ikiro vile kusatu, ili obaile na utangira, Isavaro Rezuaitu na mungisa, Omdaisi siyona ni sawa kukristai na ipena mwenye kulhanu Sini sito murhanga mwote na mwoli Na mwote na yona Na ingale za mwani Mwote na mwote na mwoli Na mwote na mwote We are so so grateful to you Mwote ikirise Manyire na isang staff Pwede mbiwe DS waitu Mwadiko itu wa mwuresi Na isang staff na sekretari yeti yona Tugonza kusi marhanga mwilimo mkoto kumukoziri Kani mwonza kusaba banta wanyakulahali tuena Tuvatero mungaro Tuvasime Amelikuwa vile kisatu Na kiona Ibaragremo Hakata mwilitwe Tuile vika jenro Anyakuizire Ajoire nkaito Za bishop Waito wa fotpoto Catholic diocese Monsenyo Isaiah Mayongo Adieri Tugonza kutangira Wevale Okuba umkika ukeno Kanta izire weka izire na Mother Jendro wa Fort Porto Convent na walhanu na walisaba ayemere na utumutero mungara utumutangiri. Hakati umulitwe tuile senior pastor wa Kamarone Christian Fellowship atoki Dr. K.L. Dixon na walisaba mutere mungaro na utumutangiri na kwaya Eisele Hamnai. Hakati umulite tui na wakano nisbaitu wa Wenzori Diasis wa nyakuli wa mchika rukinu na wanisaba all the canons mwembele tuwatero mungaro tuwatangiri. Tui na wakati diko nisbaitu na muno muno wa masabadikoni aga nyakukozele kirokinu tui na sabadikono wa sabadikono wa mwisengo Apuli, Venere Moroba Tumashasha, Wabale Tumahana Apuli, Thank you so much. Tuine Sabadikono, Sabadikone, Wawakona, Kandioku Nguhonzawa, Venere Mbo, Aleluya. Wabale Tumatene Mbaho, we are so grateful. Tuine Sabadikono, Sabadikone, Wakamarone, Kandioku Nwe, Wachapashon, Wahouse of Klaji, Kandi Sabadikone, Akumbwara, I thought, thank you very much. Tine Sabadikone, Oksabdin. Tine Sabadin was in Jones Cathedral, Kana Victoria Cathedral Chapter, Kana Wani Ezra Msobozi, Amoti, Wawale Mono, Okuba Hano, Kana Wawale, Oktoskinga, Omchika Rokeno. Tine Eji Aba Hule Yona, Aba Nyakuli Omwanya Guno. Kande na nisaba bakuli nyuena nukwe mundaza kuingi Mwemere abantu wanawatere mungaro tupatangiri Tine amatelezi benjiri Kande eli hii ya kuikana na ground Omulimo mkoto kukoro hababu Na wanisaba amatelezi benjiri Inyuena mwemere Ometini sabiyanyu tupatere mungaro Thank you 
Alharbatu aho kando kwa mkristayo wangi uhura Weba na muna moto kubaho kando nukumara evire piona Nolibata nomorolelesi kando isito murhanga Tine chancela mkorolelesi unu na deputewe Bale mchikarukinu Yes, mweba na kubaho Si murhanga hawanyu nukutunanzibwa Omkoto omurukora Mwabale kumahamna itwe Kanda tuino kwa nyakutuwa retewe ya Father's Union Leader wa ito harulengu wa diocese Na watoki na nimsaba email Atoji Captain Kanda Head of Missions Department Mwenye kilise Manyire abantu nyeno mitongole vyanyo Kanda mbitini sabyanyo Msi marhanga for all the departments Is tuine Abakulisaya kuruka rumbona atidimbo nare Rumbona Thank you very much Mwebaya kuhija Abakulisaya kuruka kawarole atidimbo nare Mwebaya muno kubako Kanda abakulisaya the host Here St. John's Cathedral Na nisawa ilpene la bandinare Abanyakule mchikarukini nyena Akuwa you are the one hosting us. Thank you very much. Mbatele mungaru. Bana Toki. Mbabale kuwa hamnaitwe. Hamnaito mchikarokino to in a woman MP of Fort Porto Tourism City. Honorable Linda Irene in Avarongo. Mbabale kuwa hamnaitwe to in a MP of Fort Porto City. Honorable Alex Ruhonda Kiki. Okay, he's not around but I had, I had recognized him here. He's been around through. Tukonza kumanyiro kubawa kwa kwa commissioner Mgurusi Konstantini Karsoke Babale kumahamna itwe Tukonza kumanyiro kubawa kwa RDC wa Kabarole Na RCC wa Central wa City Tukatangira wa Mchikarokinu Mboza kutangira Cha person zvaitu wa local council 5 Bandisu tizaitu na munomuni hiviri Haba nyakulehano Wa antoroko tinka manjire whether he has arrived or not Ngoza kumanyira Cha person waitu wa district 10 Ya kawa District ya kawa role Wa kutine sabona rebo Richard wa uhinga Aboki And ogunwa president Wa Uganda Local Government Association Yangara zi mmuteria zi berekentai Ogunu wa Poembera Association ya wa local government wona. Tuine Honorable Ategeka Mugarama James Kuruga Mnyangamu Oweitu Omchikarokino Oguli Norman C. Is manning security somewhere. Alhan is managing the security. DPC, Waitu, Wakawarole, Nanisaba, Namberale, Nawa Emere. They are all managing security somewhere.
muno aba aba mukobo CDC kapat watere mungaro kapat watere mungaro God bless you so much tuwabondeza imbabazi no mukisa kwa ruhanga kwa muhereza wanyi
to the Archbishop. Your Grace, when Zori Diocese first loved you in 2017, when, as mm -hmm. Bishop of Mithiana Diocese, you honored our invitation and participated fully in our revival convention here. Your love to us was evident. You literally set everyone, especially our young people, on fire by your presentations and the way you delivered them. At that time, the sitting Archbishop was about to exit office. The atmosphere was therefore pregnant with questions as to what type of person should be our next Archbishop. It was then that you won our love and admiration because from your performance, we saw Archbishop Nkoyoyo and Rombi, both of those people, reincarnated in your personality. We therefore asked God for divine providence to have no other person but you. We firmly gave, I think we misbehaved here, but we were like loved children who, who can pester parents. We gave God no option. To our joy, God nodded to us in the affirmative. Therefore, your journey to the highest office of the Archbishop of the Church of Uganda began from here where you are today. We thank our Bishop for outsourcing people like you for his mission work. Our Bishop even deliberately invited the Calvary Choir to entertain you as a testimony of his ability to outreach to our neighbors in Christ. Therefore, when Zori Diocese welcomes you back home as our prayer gift, not merely an Archbishop of the Church of Uganda. We congratulate our Bishop for hosting you for these three very short days. They are shorter than normal. All my committee members put in their best to welcome you. I therefore take responsibility for any shortcoming with humility and I promise I may have to tender my formal resignation after this function. <laughs> <laughs> Your Grace, at the time you assumed office, before you even settled as the new Archbishop, you met a fierce baptism of fire from the marauding coronavirus. Some of your bishops, sadly, who should have helped you to settle in the office, started dying without ceremony. Our bishop himself survived by the grace of God. Many of your Christians also died while others lost their dear ones. In some countries, coffins went out of stock. Others, including ours, declared total lockdowns. The world over, stocks shrunk to levels they have never recovered from. Many businesses collapsed. Banks seized developers' properties. Families faced unbearable challenges. Children started producing children. Amahanoga <laughs> Kakwa. The number and the money sent some people who never received it even to jail. The world's economic order was totally distorted. The chaos was itself chaotic. Lifestyles changed. Eventually, we consoled ourselves that eating cassava was even better than eating bread. So when you say somebody was selling uh, some things in a village much higher, at higher prices, that person could be justified because bread is not available. However, amidst all these challenges, you are grace, though you were more or less alone in the office, you, um, you managed to keep the church spiritually focused and even stable enough for serious development as if you were an archbishop right from the day you were born. Money was scarce and you knew it. But you overlooked this and demanded for any unbelievable whooping 600 billion to restore our such house. And surprisingly, God answered you. You literally squeezed water out of stone. 
vividly in your success was proportionately concomitant to the spirit charisma you ably displayed. Even those who don't have death, if there is anyone who demystifies God, you are the only one. Uh, COVID, you are the only. If there is anyone who demystifies COVID, you are the only one I know. Your Grace Church House, another income generating project of our church, invokes our fond memories of St. Jana Nirumumu, our beloved former Archbishop, who was murdered for bravely standing against injustice by Ida Min in 1977. Bishop Rohum initiated this project. And Bishop Olombi, who was another equally popular archbishop, got it out of its stagnation after more than 30 years of frustration and shame on us. Therefore, your grace, by saving this important project for us, just on your arrival in office, you put our church in a better position than you found it even before you started work. Clearly, the faith that led you to take this decision is not ordinary at all. You proved to the whole world that faith without works is dead. You sent a clear and firm message to Christians, especially your fellow leaders in the church and our lives. Amen. Your grace, the short time you have spent in office under Corona, you have exhibited steadfast leadership and pastoral care. You have championed the Church of England agenda for self-sustainability uh, by initiating new ambitious projects like what we hear about the souvenir projects of Archbishop Paris guest units as you rolled out the vision to start a new project each year for the church. With the provincial head of Laite to provide comfort to the Laite to know that the destiny of their church square heart lays in their hands. You have proved that it is possible to preach the gospel through the media in accordance with the dictates of the COVID pandemic chapter one to the end in order to reach everyone. The radio TV you are rolling out, if it passed with the Bank for Church of Uganda to supplement the parish model, our president would be saved to the bother of explaining to us uh, the world opposition lies that Uganda is not in the middle income state. The solution for the DR Congo is a manifestation of your immense potential to achieve anything to the glory of God. Your success reminded us of our pastor heroes of the revival movement like Apollo Kefeblaya, who effectively spread the gospel beyond our borders the way hawkers do their business. Incidentally, you unveiled his statute yesterday and at night at Canon Apollo Teachers Training School for the purpose of immortalizing this good servant. Your grace, since God works mysteriously and history repeats itself, we could therefore be witnessing similar works of his hero today in you. It is believed that such people do not die. And if they die, they do not rot. And if they rot, they do not smell. Because they go to heaven where there is no sorrow. Therefore, your grace, with such a rich spiritual calcium, calcium vati, CV, and your wisdom to involve, to involve capable people like Honorable Ruth Nakabiru and others in your church programs, when Zori Diocese Christians believe that achieving whatever development is required during your remaining tenure of office is like handling mere pity cash. You have given us hope beyond affliction. We will come to your leadership with unfettered corporatism. And may God bless you. Please take our greetings to your family and the rest of the church whenever you visit them. And God bless you. We are going to call for those gifts. Those people with the gifts as the MC call. If you have any gift and you have not reported it, Thank you. So can I call the DS to be around? I take this opportunity 
to command the DS to be near me. So you will never get God can raise you from grass to grass. I am also calling the DS to listen to me. Your grace, the DS is beside me here, is the DS and the DS and the treasurer, and they are just going to give you these small tokens, just as a demonstration of our love, and just to make application that you come again. <laughs> so the, one, the first one was the Archbishop. Archbishop, and it is a small token. Okay, the second one is Archbishop's chaplain. It's a token. Well, the committee decided that he can get five million on your behalf. It is in the form of a check. Then is a god. It is a god. The provincial communication officer is also a god. The archbishop's driver is also a god. <laughs> I, I, I had advised the committee members to be here so that we take a photograph with the Archbishop as I shall not be coming to the floor again. I hate the retakes. <laughs> My committee members, a few who are here, and the Archbishop loves to put on his mask together with the Bishop. I have observed the evening when eating almost they are having masks on their I want to welcome you once again and on behalf of all the mothers union members of the four articulates, which is zone dinner. We want to extend our appreciation and also ask you to deliver this humble um, envelope that is here, which is containing uh, some trees for Mama Margaret. Uh, while she is on, she is feeling unwell, so that she tops up on her trees. Thank you so much. Yes. And we are requesting for a group photograph. May I call the mother senior members, all of you? I'm requesting you to come to hand over our small token to his grace. Executive change your work.
Medai San Bishop, the right Reverend Ruben Xiembo Amoja, and your dear wife, Lillian Xiembo Abwari, Canons of the Church, the Medai San Secretary, the Archdeacons, the clergy, the lay readers, officials led by the state minister for local governments, Mama Victoria Singer Soke Atoke, members of parliament, the RDCs, my brother chairman, Bunyangabo district local government, security, heads of institutions, in the interest of time protocol observed, distinguished ladies and gentlemen. Your Grace, allow me to invite my colleague, the Chairperson Benyangabu. But as local governments, we are many, I invite the RDCs, the RDC and RCC, to join me as we make our remarks. Your Grace, on behalf of local government leaders, On behalf of local government leaders from this region, we take the opportunity to warmly welcome you on your maiden visit to Missouri Diocese. And like you did say before, your consecration and enthronement and installation as Archbishop was cut short shortly because of COVID-19. We therefore welcome you for finding time to visit us. Our brothers in Kiegebo and Kienjoto did receive you the other day at Nyantungo. Our brothers in Wondewujo received you yesterday at Wondewujo. And today we take the honor to warmly receive you and welcome you at St. John's Cathedral, as Wunyangabu, as in Toroko, as Port Porto City and as Kabarole. You are most welcome. <laughs> we want to thank you for the partnership with the government of Uganda, especially in the fight against COVID. It was a bigger threat, but you kept the body of the church united. You worked very closely with the government of Uganda. It was hard hitting for the churches to close for the days they spent closed. But in the interest of a common good of humanity, you did accept, you supported the government to close all churches as we fight the, the, the corona virus pandemic. We don't take that for granted. Churches could have put up resistance, but you did accept for the good of mankind the churches remain closed for that time. We must report of the very good working relationship we have with the Renzori Diocese. As leaders in this region, we enjoy a very cordial working relationship with our bishop, with the church leaders, not only the Anglican Church, but from the other denominations. We do appreciate the holistic ministry of the church because we have partnered in education, we have partnered in health. Most of our uh, schools are built on church land. A number of our health centers are built on church land. And the bishop has always been there, has always been available and generous to support, but within the confines of the church land policy, to support government projects on church land, and on that one, we are very grateful. We thank you for mobilizing us through the gift of love to support the church house and the payment of the debt, and we do congratulate you that you've been able to overcome that huge burden on the shoulders of the church and you've been able to secure the church house. 
your grace, this one gives us hope that the church will get additional income, not only from the church offertories and the tithe, but also from that income generating project. And it is a good example which we are emulating as a diocese, and we are more than willing as local government leaders to support our diocese also to initiate other income development projects that can help us get additional income. We are grateful, Your Grace, for the support you have given us. A few days ago we have been having the teachers on an industry action, but you made a statement. And we welcome that statement that the government should do work on this salary disparity in the country and that for us we did propose that there should be a salary regulator authority which works on the salaries for all and once and for all and we appreciate your comment and support to this your grace as we conclude we invite you to give us a blessing as leaders we are leaders in this region, we are leaders in this country, serving in various capacities. And therefore a blessing from you would make a whole difference and would keep us in the right path as we lead our people in the various capacities. I invite the other colleagues who are here, if you wish you'd like to have this blessing, you join us. The deputy mayor is here. And any other leader, if you wish to get a blessing from the Archbishop, I invite you that you get that. And I will ask my brother, hand it over to the breast, so that you put it in your palm, then you go back. Let's go. Thank you. Just stand Lord, we are representing men in one of you. I pray that, Lord, you bless them by grace. You bless their time. May they always be winners in what they do. And not losers. Give them your favor so that they can deliver your message and let there be one this together with the other leaders at different levels, but also the people they are serving. Thank you very much for uh, the chair who is representing others, and also with the humility that we can even continue to serve you despite his position, but he's serving you here in the church as warden as usher. What a gift of service. Humility is not self-degradation, but a source of power. Bless him and bless all these other leaders. Blessings is out to the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, just upon all of you, now and forevermore. Amen. Jubilee uh, FM, now you're in college to consider, Kandi, abasubaire kumaka, baliye nwa hondera, ili mugendo maiso, umchikaro kenu. Tugonza kubasima, habuanyi nyuena, habanyakulhano. Ngonza kutangira, haba chebambe kals, okaye kizina, chanye kumizire mtekanize, hanyuma yacho, mtui jakuba, ne kizina kuruga karana polo kwa PTC, kandi, ebizine jakuba na kesha, na kwaya, estuine, umchikaro kenu. Chebambe kals, Please, Mwiche. Abana Abato, Abanya Kulio Mchikorokinu. Please, I'm going to take some of our spells. And as she is driving to the side of the ship, so our hearts are expressing at this side all of the country. As the rays of the sun break through the heavy clouds, birds singing sweet notes loud, flowers and dreams with sing and a big sound, so our hearts stand out loud. At the sight of the trekking on this ground, the exceptional love, sight tracking other arenas to the story that shall forever be endured.
each one of them will have a good job. An appropriate time, each one of these ones will have a wonderful husband. Amen. But not now, in the future. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Amen. The head teacher wants to take a photo with you, your grace. The head teacher, Chebanda Girls, please. Uh, even if you him in Koro, of Hereza Waitu, can they are all in Zoom services here at St. John's Cathedral? Can we are always in touch with them? We are so much grateful to you for TV. Thank you very much. The lovers of Pilgrim Music, please endeavor to go to see this service of St. Waitu, the Pilgrim Squire. Can they? Someone has them here in case you need to go with a CD.
you are not there to see you at work in their lives. The blessings you have to sorrow the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit rest upon you all, now and forevermore. Amen. Amen. Thank you very much, our teachers. Thank you very much, Your Grace. Thank you very much, our Lord Bishop. In Tangiru Rubazo Krubo Mbukama, the Kingdom Representative. I'm a guide to a guard to our Sanjo Mbukama, Adai Nakulahanu, Omoro Ndebavi, Baikyo Hanu, Mbuna Mbele Tuli, Mbuna Mbele Sogaro Hanu, Tenuku, Mbweki, Ninja Kubasaba, Kabatoro, Mbanze Baramuki Murturo, Nukui Bagambu Ibindi, Habawakeni Altrina, Kora Kurungi, Ninja Kusurujamu Norjungu. Mwereire Kurungi Nyena, Rohanga Simwe. Mkoze Seje Tigambu Kya Bavili Rundubasatu, Ahavokuwa Kirumbaibuli, Ingo baviri rundo ba sato na mbere ba ba bali, rohanga arval hakati yabo. Na wewe kinyangere kwe mera nyenga, ngaburwa rohanga. Your Grace, the Archbishop of the Church of Uganda, our Bishop. Amod Ksembo, the clergy, all leaders. I don't want to go through all those hierarchies, for they have talked about them and we know them. I don't want to take a lot of time. I only want to join all of you here. We do clap, we do urate. And welcome our Archbishop in our kingdom this time. Your Grace, greetings from the King to you, to your team, to your family, and to the whole of Church of Uganda, and to you, all people gathered here. Here I'm standing, invited by the Church, to join the church and the diocese of this region to welcome you and have a word with you as the culture institution. I appreciate our bishop and your team and the clergy and all of you to recognize the culture institution to be part and pastor of the church. I thank you so much, and you deserve thanks from all these people around. Your Grace, the church and the culture institutions are inseparable. Where we are, where we are sitting, where we are standing, and this is very church, the place and the land was donated by the leaders of that time, and that was the cultural institution, the king of the world. And I understand it's not only here, it is all around the country, in most parts of this country, where the church stands, and all, nearly all the activities of churches the pieces of land were donated by churches. You cannot separate now the two. So you are welcome home. And as a kingdom, a cultural institution, we do appreciate what you are doing. The two institutions, the church and the cultural institutions, create peace wherever they are. They advocate for peace. And peace is created with God. 
where there is no God's intervention, there is no peace. And the advocates of God's voice are the church leaders. Should we then clap for them? <laughs> Your Grace, when you are talking, you talked about this area being peaceful. I'm glad to make a statement here. Which statement might go beyond this arena and maybe through the whole country? that Toro has been peaceful. And as you said, that maybe problems may arise, we have a culture, and that culture is solving the issues before they expand and explore to all people to know that there are problems. That culture should be adopted even in homes. And I always say that God's time is always the best. And he brought you during that time for a reason. If you can remember through the Bible, when God sent Moses to rescue his people, it was not peace at all. Even where they passed, it was not peace at all. Day by day using television and social media, that they developed a saying that information is transformation. And I join your talking with the leadership of our king, Dr. Oyo Nimba Kavagu Guru, who also advocates to fight the following. Domestic violence. You have not gone anywhere. I follow you very much. And talk and leave the arena without talking about domestic violence. You have not gone anywhere without talking about women and girl change. Emancipation. It is all with us. And I am here again to announce to you, people of Toro and the, the world over, that out of COVID, we got children, produced children, as the artificial said. We started a program, a very big project, where we are rebuilding the children that have produced children. And as we talk, we have partnered with UN women. With Fawe, we have now, so far, organized 155 girls and paid their school fees back to school. <laughs> we have termed that as a special girls program. And it is going on. And we urge you to bring those people you hear, those people that are in the background, in our homes, to bring them back and we put them back to normal. For the homes and families, the king sent me to say this word to you, that you should love your spouses. He didn't say the man to love your wife or the wife to love your man, but your spouses. As the archbishop was preaching, he talked about oppression from all sides. Even English has it, that if you don't have culture, you are what? And culture. And to the English or to the Europeans, the word and culture is an abyss. When someone says you are uncultured, it is an abyss. We should love our culture. And in our culture, these were abominable. Up in a very remote village in Kitakwenda, your eminence, your grace, I follow your suit. I'm also from grass to grace. And uh, I have never, I think in those days, up to the recent years, it was abominable to hear that a certain wife has left a home and gone away. It was abominable. We were not hearing those things. They have started now. It is time now to go back to our roots. Lastly, I don't want to take a lot of time because the last speakers always um, get little time when people are hungry and late for whatever activities. Yes. We are all here to listen to the words of God from the messengers.
of God. To inform the millions of people behind us and who did not come to attend this function live. We thank you otherwise for the work you have done for the church above yourself. We thank you so much to keep the house of God burning and to keep it together as you led us through prayer day by day as it is said that the family that prays together stays together. May God bless you all. Umkama Angris. Um, Mitsawa, Ngo Noija Kutoha, Umgisa, Kandir Kalasejo Mukama Antimire, Mwabunga Muka, Mwakuba Toro Uka, Bagenda Bagusil, Antimire Porangire, Muntija Kutungo Wire, Kalasejo Mukama Waratra Kire Kiro, Muntija Kuyemember wa Bishop Waitu, Thank you for our Prime Minister for the message well delivered and the hope in it. Thank you, King of Kings, for the gifts that we have received. It is an issue. We are so grateful for the King's generosity and the Prime Minister <coughs> and the Ministers serving me. I pray specifically for your children here present, representing the entire King. I pray most that you bless them and help them not to lack anything including wisdom and knowledge as they read. Blessings without soul, Father, Son, Holy Spirit rest upon all of you now and forevermore. Amen. Amen. Thank you very much, Your Grace. Mohammed, it seems like stanzas, even if it's a heavy bit of a weed. Just two stanzas and we finish because we're already turned by. The same as I'm scoring.
forever and of himself, bless the Lord. And blessings without sorrow, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit rest upon you now and forever. Our Lord Bishop Amoti Robin Ksembo and Mama Aboli Monsignor Isaiah Mayongo Adieri representing Right Reverend Dr. Robert Muhiru Akiki, the Bishop of Fort Porto Catholic Diocese, the Mother General present with us. In the interest of time, Munikiriza Vantuam Kama, Inuen of the Tim Savianu, Mamanire, Nekchumbi, that your familiarization tour is a blessing to all the people in this region. Young and old and in all forms. We are excited. When I got the news from my Lord Bishop, I prepared myself to come and sit and attend this function up to its closure. I'm very, very happy. I bring greetings from my family. I'm married to Dr. Singer Soke Event, retired. And also my four children. They were excited, but they couldn't come because three of them are family women, two are family women, one is a family man, and one is working from a distance. I want to assure you that the government of the Republic of Uganda, under the leadership of His Excellency Yoweri Kabuta Museveni, is walking its talk basing from the Constitution which gives the people the right to believe in any denomination of their choice. And government is not discriminative in this matter. Exemplified by the support it gives where necessary, when necessary, to all religions in construction of churches, in their projects, in their schools. And I want to give you a light example of your grace, which I share to have benefited from my mother religion, the Catholic faith, which founded me up to primary and it is still building me and the virtues of purity and love that I got from Kewambe just behind here. <laughs> Our virtues are love and purity. So any girl of Kewambe who will be corrupt, will be corrupt on her own, not as a virtue acquired from the school. And we were taught continuity. And I want to assure you, we built a very big chapel to which I want to invite you one of the times you feel comfortable to come and see a testimony of the girls brought up in an Anglican setting. So we have vowed to continue and to build our girls and tomorrow we have always chosen a Sunday in the town where we come and pray with them Girls, tomorrow we are with you, not so? So one of us will be the preacher, one of us will lead the songs, we shall be the choir, we will clap and dance with these girls, and so we appreciate it. I want to assure you, Your Grace, that we are walking in the footsteps of our leaders of the two dioceses. Truly walking and fitting into their shoes because they are walking the talk. In good and bad times, we are always together, fully together, and we shall continue so. It is to that effect that, exemplified by the way of the cross, on Good Fridays, we alternate. One time we are here, this very spot at the cathedral, and sometimes to the Catholic diocese. And we pledge to continue like that, sow the seed into our children, 
and maybe to let the politicians also borrow relief that you can live together harmoniously even if you are of different parties. I want to thank the government for supporting the Matters Day. This time, even the Muslims jumped out and said, we are also there, we have matters. And indeed, the matters are there. And government, here is 11 of them, and government came in also to support them to celebrate their Mother's Day, Matters Day. So I want to thank government for that. I also want to thank government that even in the parliament, your grace, we have chaplaincies. There is the Catholic chaplaincy, the Anglican chaplaincy, there is even the mosque, even the Balokole, they are respected and each has a day when they pray. I'm a living example to have been the chairperson of the Catholic chaplaincy in the ninth parliament. So our values are respected by government. I want to emphasize to the congregation here that please don't wait for all the Sundays to come to church. That's when I saw him teaching marriages. Please avoid the marriage of question and answer. Where are you coming from? Have I taken your blanket? <laughs> Can I have a cup of tea? Do you know where the kettles are? And so many other things. Please learn you are missing good, good, good preachings. If you just concentrate on coming to Sunday, you are losing a lot where people are offering the coins, it is a true reflection that those places are harboring the 39% of people living below the poverty line. And the intervention is here, take it or leave it, but we should encourage one another to embrace the PDM, the Parish Development Model. It's a reality that has come to pull all our people with a vision of not leaving anyone behind. All that in the interest of time, but let's motivate and encourage people in that situation. This is a joke to you, Your Grace. We are now your in-laws. My clan, we are your in-laws. Our brother marries from Bukunja. They live in, in New York, but we are a very peaceful family with them. And allow me to be a little selfish and call my sister Alice Katenta to come here as your in-law. That's how we got the, the wife with our brothers and sisters who are not here, but now she's here, we can get the opportunity. <laughs> now to end, I want to promise that I will convey all the good things I've seen here to my colleagues who are not here. Not everybody could come because of different programs, but we promise we shall keep the cohesion, we shall keep the love, we shall fight corruption together with you, like you've been going, and our unity will live forever and ever. Amen. I offer you a haifa, which haifa is not a meho. I join hands with the bishop when they are bringing the haifa from the king. I hope you will allow me, Prime Minister, to make sure they come together. Because many people may offer if everybody's going every other day to make to be taxing to the Archbishop. Can we? That is from the children. Excuse me. This is from me and Dr. Soke and the Haifa is following. I take the opportunity to take the first photo, but you will allow me, Your Grace, to invite the RDC, the eyes of the President, 
and my colleague MP Honorable Lila Irene and my sister you are in love with Vukunja to come and we take a photo with you. Blessings we have to show the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit, the Holy Spirit, all of you, now and the rest of you. Amen. Welcome to the Mono, Your Grace. Welcome to the Mono, our own Honorable Minister. We are so much proud of you. Thank you, Lisa. Come on to our tour.
come and reflect this and invest a lot of time. Thank you for these voices. We appreciate you and we pray each time we see somebody and bless them as individuals and as families. What do they do? Where they stay? Bless them. Blessings to God's sorrow of the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit upon all of them, now and forevermore. Amen. Amen. I request your grace to say there, these children desire to have your blessing. They are not going to sing, but they, are, they just deserve a photo with you. Isabavana, to the Vata Bamu, to the Mary of Maiso, Vat Bishop, the Muja Premier and Murakuno, my Mary Murakuno. Please endeavor not to go to Tagenda, Akova, to Nongisa. I was a very uniform, but I was a very uniform. 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 I was a
kwanza ganyo mtaa wawe mama mama mabu tazima kukuruwara wish hawa kukira kabara kila kila kurungi sanya nawa uze nago mwewa lukusendekeleza our staff in UN ingoza masaba ya mazama kwa wa nzima it is important to allow me to introduce to you the following we had invited the retired bishop penazali kisembo he says apology of grace as well as one eight we will check him over we also have apologies from Mama Rosky Algonza. We are so glad to be here. We are so very rich. Dyson staff, Secretary of Staff, Mr. Brown, Mr. Quickly, Dyson staff, Mr. Kuru Kakora, Mr. Sozi, Secretariat, Mr. Mary, Mr. Kanuz, Mr. Tangirire, Mr. Retired Clergy, Mr. Meirege, Mr. Tekeza, Mr. Guire, Mr. Leaders, Mr. Zirege, Mr. Dean, Mr. Clergy, Mr. Nguyen, and our spouses, Mr. Kuru Hanu, Mr. Tangira, Mr. Mwai Mnu Kuiza, Mr. Kuru Kakorole, Mr. Kuru Kakorole, Mr. Kuru Kakorole, Mkale bini yon. Mwanda nukusima nukutangira wa Dyson Head of Lighty, Amoti, Amoti Nusakarowa, nukusima. Mutira mungara msaidi wangu wame up and down. Mwambira kurungi. Mwanda speechi ya nukuzele kurungi muno ni mwanda kusima. Special recognition also of our Dyson Chancellor and your deputy Chancellor. They were at Arali, at Arali, Arali, na deputy Akiki. Mwambira mungara bantu wako. Mwanda watu hamadezi kuna mwambira giro. Kano recent watu konyire muno kolora to review inja kwa sushuni yetu. Other days is actually failed, theirs could not be passed. Chonga kolomu murungi, amantu wano watu konyana kwa sushuni review committee. Kano wetu kano wa ready for presentation in the Commission Assembly for approval. So mbatele munga, they had signals for the video. Kira, mbasibu. Provision Assembly delegates who are here, please stand up for recognition. Kano wa kome kena Provision Assembly, are you here? Aha, tuwara mnyakuroho, Provision Assembly delegates, kano mnyakuroho. All Sunday members who are here, please, you can stand up. Sunday members, I'm your Kuroho. Bishop Supervisors, I'm your Kuroho, I'm your Mwemere. Bishop Supervisors, I'm your Kuzile. Aha, I'm your Kuroho, I'm your Kuroho, I'm your Kuroho, I'm your Kuroho. President of Mutahiyo, Mother Zinyoni. Members of Mother Zinyoni, Mutahiyo, Mutahiyo, June, Mutahiyo, 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 Mut and the process so far, we are currently pregnant about producing produce the Swanzori rices. The records are rice in Piaka, Juna Bege, Bishop Avila, as Bishop Avila, Gunuju. Rice in Swanzori currently in the Kabaringa from Porto City, and Kabrole, Kienjojo, Kiegiego, and Toroko, Gunuju, and Mnyangawa. So that's the scope of our diocese. We are going to report to you about the place we have visited. Our statistical data about this diocese, what are statistics? Between our Sabadikoni committee and our deaconaries, we have 107 parishes, 827 churches, acreage estimated is 4,528, 23.8. Church of Uganda secondary schools are 30. Church of Uganda primary schools are 222. We have lay readers, as there's a new one, 546. And Katatis, I think, are the end of the year, we will be able to do that. That's a summary. So your grace, in addition to the above churches, we have chaplains in Kampala, consisting of our Christians, our Yakuru Khanu Renzori, and stay and work in Kampala. We have been converging and praying at all Saints Cathedral and Cathedral for more than 20 years, every first sun, Sunday of the, the month at 3 p.m. We have Reverend Patrick Kamara, currently deployed as a parish priest, or a priest in charge of St. Luke, St. John and Loom, Church of Uganda, Kampala. Kavaragara, Kavaragara, Kampala Diocese. Effective this year, we have, uh, he is being assisted by Reverend Deacon Alan Abraham Koki, who was ordained last year as a deacon. I recommend Alan to your office as Bishop of Kampala for your engagement either as a full time or part time, because he stays in Kampala. Reverend Alan Koki will give you, give you a letter to see to you. Another congregation, Your Grace, was established during COVID, lockdown, which is called Renzori Diocese Renzori Toro Global Online Service which has been running for over two years. We meet every Sunday at 3 to 3, 5.15 on Zoom. And they want to recognize uh, Mrs. Monica Rubambora. Please stand up for recognition. Monica Rubambora does a good job in that area. She stays in South Africa, but she has been very instrumental uh, in this program. We have a chaplain here, uh, Reverend Isaac Mwandari, who connects this program. And this Zoom service played a big role. Uh, they led a fundraising drive that uh, raised 70 million shillings, plus which was topped up with Dyson funds to buy a brand new vehicle for the bishop's office. So, we thank the president's office 
uh, which paid all the import taxes that was equivalent to 73 million. So the same of the equivalent of Menti, the same of the same, and you have to go on here, according to the same, so we have to go on here. Progress, number five, support for provincial activities and, and programs. Progress, we support all provincial activities and programs. For example, we don't have areas of provincial quota, and we are remaining with a balance of the 24 8 million to clear quota for this year. Just that small amount we think we shall clear it any time from now. We paid 20 million for the love gift to reduce the debt burden for church house. Church house is a very good thing to do with the debt burden for church house. But we also have shares equivalent to uh, 413 million 199,000 950 in the church house project, uh, uh, project as, as a dice of years old. Have their, those shares of those monies. And the dice, your grace, is moving on well. Administrative, administrative work, pastor, mission work is taking place actively in all churches at all levels of um, the dice. We recently elected synod members and also elected provincial assembly delegates. Committees and boards sit regularly. We thank the Christians for the financial all seek support of all activities and programs of the church. All the regionary offices have vehicles, and some parishes have bought vehicles and motorcycles for their parish priests. And like the other one who just went back walking, uh, many of our uh, priests now and that you can have vehicles of the institution. So I'm about to hear about the Talk about the Sinaukis and Pikpiki. We are very grateful. Uh, the gospel is being preached and people are getting saved. Baptism, confirmation, and wedding ceremonies are taking place at all parts, in all parts of the diocese. Recently, one of our parishes wedded 50 couples at mass wedding. Uh, and renewal ministry taking place, uh, and uh, Anglican Renewal Ministries, East African Revival, Awakened Fellowships. So, in spiritual matters, Fellowship of Zoroho, Conference of Zoroho, Monimogwa Mukama, Nugenda Kurund, we preach the gospel on radio. We want to thank our partners, Jubilee FM, because those ones uh, give us uh, airtime and they are being here to cover this, this function. But we also thank VOT, we are partnership with them for radio ministry and KRSC. But also, yeah, KRSC is sponsored by Words of Hope, Your Grace. Words of Hope give us money for radio ministry. All the above efforts are being made to fulfill the destiny mission, which is to proclaim the gospel and expand God's kingdom holistically in accordance with Christ's commission to make all disciples of all nations. Organizer of Abana Children's Ministry, Minabal Bukenda Kurungi, who are the coordinator of the diocese, uh, who works with leaders of children's ministry at lower levels of the church. They train Sunday school teachers and are planning more trainings because some of the teachers, because of COVID-19, lockdown, dropped and abandoned teaching of children. We're encouraging all churches to put up churches for children when they come out of the adults' church to go out for their services. Here at the cathedral, uh, we have a children's church, and some churches have consulted those churches for children. This year we plan to resume the celebrators event, which involves participation of children in drama, traditional dance, hymn singing, memorization of scripture, uh, at all levels of the church. It had stopped because of COVID, but we intend to resume it this year. In addition to the local efforts to serve children, we thank our partners, Compassion International, who are helping us to liberate children from poverty, in Jesus' name. And your grace and members who have this report we have statistics about compassion ministry in this diocese. We actually they help 2,363 2, 2, children in this diocese. But they help these children uh, with those lots of money for the education and other programs. And the 31 have so far graduated. Some have uh, 14 with national certificate course, uh, courses and bachelor's and degree so far one. That's about compassion national. We thank God for that support this diocese. Our infrastructure developments, many Christians in the diocese have built or are building good permanent church buildings and good modern residences for our staff. For example, Christians of First Matthew, such as Robisengo, as different quarters in Toronto district are, be, are building the biggest physical church in the diocese once completed. It's the biggest. We have a huge church that they are building. Rengoma and the Kawarat Nikolaiz headquarters are also planning to build new churches. Here at St. John's Cathedral, we replaced the old roof, which was leaking here at the cathedral, put up a new one. We put a washroom facility for clergy ministering in the cathedral. We have now put up a modern and spacious washroom facility 
which he inspected your grace this morning and are planning to start another phase of rainwater harvesting project from the cathedral roof and the less than a quarter of the roofs for use in those washrooms. Uh, the project is estimated to cost about uh, 100 million shillings. We request your grace to pray and commission that project. But I want to thank the Christians of, of the diocese for supporting that project. Our friends and well wishers, we are very grateful. The education program is responsible for, for both theological and non theological education. We try to supervise the management and teaching of learning in all church of Uganda institutions in this diocese. In 2018, the Senate passed the resolution of a maximum of two children per class to benefit from a church of Uganda bursary in all our schools, church of Uganda founded schools. Eligible candidates should be academically bright, poor, and well behaved. They don't pay any money apart from your name fees and their personal effects, uniform and scholastic materials, of course. Then for theological education, we are training our lay leaders and clergy from certificate, diploma, bachelor's, master's. And currently, we have three candidates doing a PhD program. So we thank God for that theological education that we are promoting. For more close to 20 years, I think, we stopped having special courses. No, no, no clergy with special course for those years, and we thank God for that. Your Uganda Christian University Senate, Mukono, has permitted Bishop Bale College in Ukuku to become the study center of UCU. So in addition to teaching theology, other programs have introduced uh, at Bishop Bale College, including diploma and bachelor's of education, certificate and diploma in the IC ICT. And in January next year, they will start diploma and degree programs in social work, BBA, and a course in tourism and hospitality. So we thank you, Your Grace, for the, the Chancellor of UCU. College. Youth are involved in music and drama. In other areas, they are involved in sports ministry. Youth conferences are prepared at different levels of the church. They also do school missions. As all Anglican youth missioners, comprising of young saved people, have done a commendable work of nurturing and discipling youth to become church ministers and men in various professions serving society as born-again leaders. They hold annual conferences with this year's schedule to take place on the 10th, 21st of this next month at Kibamba Girls School. And the main speaker is expected to be Bishop Sheldon Mesuga of Ankoli and other main speakers from various parts of the country. Rain planted four acres of pine trees in Matiri and two acres of eucalyptus trees in Kazinga Parish. The department has lobbied a flat screen for showing Jesus uh, to our youth to benefit from the uh, uh, program tomorrow and also digital things, you know, on television, everything now has been digitalized. So that screen has been offered. It will help young people to learn from uh, through that, that means. The youth department is plan planning to buy a vehicle for the department here at the Dyson headquarters on 1st of October 2022. So please, when I invite you, please come. And the Speaker of Parliament has been invited to be the chief guest for that function. Women's ministry, uh, we thank God for the women ministry in the, in the church. They are uh, the majority are in all, involved in all different church programs. And, and we have also Christian women fellowships. Uh, they, they organize conferences and seminars for the marriages to uphold Christian marriages. The organizing zonal conferences take place in August this year these holidays. In some parts of the diocese, women have circles, they have built commercial buildings, have tents and chairs for hiring, like in Kasisi Parish, uh, where there is a commercial a, a multi-purpose hall. Uh, constructed with the support, also Mrs. Belet, Sim Hagizima, they built a multi-purpose hall in Kasisi Parish. Mother's young groups are also being mobilized to benefit from the parish government model program. Women are given, have been given chicken here at the diocese for a portrait project and they recently they got 10 million to start a goats rearing project in Kayanja. So let's appreciate government for that support, please. Uh, the women here at the diocese have architectural drawings to start construction of a women's center. Uh, they also have architectural drawings to construct a girls' dormitory on church land in Saka near Mountains of the Moon University. So the diocese uh, 
uh, Clarity Waves of Session Ritual, which deals in clerical robes and making uh, other church linen. They have six manual and electri electric sewing machines. I recently got an embroidery machine from Operation World Creation, uh, coordinator, Chief Coordinator General Salim Saleh, which have recently placed in the former Rodin Circle offices. It will be formatted to start work soon. So we thank government still for that support. But the Ramangan Basim. Father's Union. This ministry also exists in many parishes of the diocese. It is mainly into mobilizing officially married men in the church to strengthen Christian marriages uh, and also helping struggling marriages and to encourage those cohabiting to formalize their marriage relationships. They work jointly with Mother's Union to organize conferences. Uh, number 12, land and, and uh, household community transformation. We thank God for uh, this year as a Diocese of Missouri. We recruited a, a surveyor, the land officer who is a surveyor. He will help in opening boundaries of church, registered church land, which has issues. He will also help in a survey and register many pieces of land which are not registered. As well, protecting our land from uh, uh, being grabbed, but also for investment purposes. The rice has so far planted 143 acres of eucalyptus trees and one acre, 124 acres of pine trees. It has also planted 26 acres of coffee in different, uh, different places. Parishes and churches have also planted trees and coffee and projects for the church. In partnership with the Operation Wealth Creation and NADS, as a result of the MOU that uh, you, Your Grace, signed on behalf of the Church of Uganda, we received 10 haifas uh, about two years ago, uh, 10, what, 10, 000, Apple seedlings which were planted, 150 layers of birds, and so far 50,000 coffee seedlings which have been distributed and planted by the secretary uh, department here and also given to different churches and communities. So we have supplied these so the in inputs to different people. We also thank government for the partnership which gave us a brand new tractor and, and trained its driver last year, which is being used by the church and community is here, you can have a look at it. So it is help, you can come and hire it, it helps you in uh, your farming activities. It's supposed to promote commercial farming, to increase household food security, and domestic, domestic income. Through the, that partnership, we plan in the future to invest in over 200 acres of hash avocado, invest in 100 acres of macadamia, nuts, production of coffee, cocoa growing in as different of Mkole, Nyantongo, Humura, large scale cultivation of maize, and Irish potatoes for, for overgrowing population, environmental protection, and food security, and many other things that we want to do uh, as plans for this uh, household and community transformation. Health sector, uh, health department, the department caters for both people in body and soul, in our hospitals and health centers. They also plan a partnering with government uh, to improve health services in infrastructure and human resource. They are partnering with other organizations to put up more Church of Uganda founded uh, health facilities. The one you said the other day in Nyantongo, we are partnering with One World Health for that project. They are also encouraging every Ashdikonari to have a health uh, center and health <coughs> committees. Uh, the health department is helping to encourage Christians to join the Kindle Health Insurance Scheme uh, that is given currently now to Kaur Hospital. They are sustaining people about AIDS, hypostasis, diabetes, and other things. And lastly, under this department, they are mobilizing resources for Kaur Hospital for the ICU uh, unit and oxygen uh, uh, production plan. That, that project was launched by the, the King of Toro. We shall partner with him to ensure that it is realized. We have community health insurance, community health evangelism rather, that also is doing good work in the dioceses, in the different parts of the, the diocese. And this one is specifically sponsored by Reverend Dr. Chris and Jane Palakas that are based at the provincial quarter. So when you reach there, your grace, to convey a gratitude to him, to, to them as a couple, because they support us. We are, we are mobilizing resources to be able to get local resources for this ministry. Uh, retired uh, clergy staff, we thank uh, retired Bishop Benzelik Semarali who, when he came, became Bishop, 
He started the pension scheme that has been sustained to this day to cater for retired clergy, lay leaders and their, their, their spouses. Currently, it caters for, uh, uh, there's I think something that was missing there, it caters for about uh, 150 people, but it also bought a house in town to generate resources for this scheme. It planted over 50 uh, trees, uh, acres of trees in Matiri for income generation. Uh, so the, the, state, uh, the, the, the scheme currently has a total of 856 members, both active and inactive in service. Uh, in those, there are clergy, colleges, and lay leaders, as shown in that table. You see the table, but we have members who are active and those who are inactive, and those benefiting from this scheme are 154. Its main source of income are 10% Christ, Christian Christmas greet, uh, of our collections. Every Christmas we get 10% of the offertory from the churches and get into this fund. 10% Easter collection also gets into this fund. One Sunday is gazetted for uh, this uh, collection also. I want to remind you that tomorrow we have this Easter, we have this special Sunday in all churches of the rest of Renzori. About any budget of Sumas, Punyanches, this scheme, please. Kimanyere, the second Sunday of the month of July, is meant for uh, this scheme. And every serving clergy uh, should subscribe 10,000 per month, and really does 50,000 per month. Golden Jubilee Project. Uh, the Dice of Menzori is about 50 years of its existence in the year 2011, and resolved to establish a mega project of, one, of a one stop center, which will comprise of a commercial complex, an amphitheater, and the hotel or stock apartment. The first phase is estimated to cost 20 billion shillings. It's a commercial complex whose plans were approved by the Port Municipal Authorities. We thank our Christians and well wishers who have so far supported this project. We have so far collected 1 billion 213 million to the 6,192. This is so far what we have collected. Uh, one billion two hundred uh, twelve 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 million We have spent million three hundred and thirty three six hundred sixty thousand fifty and the cash balance is eight hundred seventy eight million three hundred fifty nine thousand sixty two. We are currently doing underground excavation on the site. We are looking for real estate developers and business people to come and partner with us this big project. It's a mega project, but we're looking for partners to come and work with us. Rodi Sako has been mentioned. Rodi Sako was served by the place of Renzori, and currently we have 4,305 members. Uh, share capital is 100, $125 million. Member savings is $944 million. Loan portfolio $1 billion. And total assets per audited financial statement is $1.2 billion. So we encourage people to join uh, this uh, circle because it's viable and doing well. Number 18, uh, now request this is the last page, last page members. Your Grace, help us to identify partners who can help or partner with us in real estate development for a Golden Jubilee project and other related projects. There's a gentleman who noticed that we uh, seem not be having a, uh, we're not sure about the, the, the provincial anthem, and you, call, you propose one which I've already shared with you. Hope your grace will think about that and advise us accordingly. The last request to your grace, as Chancellor of UCU, we request you to help us sponsor great needed students uh, in the province because such a uh, UCU with the Chancellor. So we pray that we advocate that we get sponsorship from that university for great but needed young people who can serve at the university level. Last but not least, a thank your grace and your team for loving us and paying us this pastoral visit. Number two, I thank all clergy, lay readers and laity in all parts of uh, where the Archbishop has visited for the warm reception, hospitality, and the money that you've given to us to support this function. Actually, Honorable Atuaki gave us 500,000 shillings to support this function. Na, 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 na
CNCM organizing committee zona nya tumbo mado na hana destination quarters hamuno mnuje kumkozele noe sazo la za flema as max pazigwa with mbozo mwa murungi mwe bale mwe tele munga na mwe sima i thank the dyson secretary staff headed by the ds and my and the field staff for helping me make this report because this was a joint report for all departments so ni basima kukonyera kwa report yen i thank the rpc and all security personnel for giving our archbishop fitting security. Right from the time we are arriving here Gelba, we are in we are very grateful. I thank the media houses for covering this as Bishop's visit. I thank the music teams and choirs for singing well uh, in all the places we have visited. I thank all the service providers for all the services you have provided to us to make this function colorful. I thank you, our esteemed invited guests in respective capacities for honoring our invitation and coming to give a fitting reception to our Archbishop. Last but not least, I thank my wife, my wife, Agoli, uh, my wife Agoli, Ogo, Mindakati Ogo, Minsima. She has also been spending several days preparing for this function. And my children who support me. My wife, Mdoko Sajika, Mikaya Ange, thank you for Archbishop Waitu. Then you know, I was the name of In conclusion, I conclude on behalf of the Dice of Renzori, to thank you once again, our beloved Archbishop. So, I want to uh, thank you a grace for visiting us, for coming to visit us, and wish you journey masses back home through East Renzori Diocese. I thank all of you for coming and supporting this function. May God grant you all journey masses back to your respective destinations and greet the people at home when you are there. Let us continue praying and supporting each other cause peace and development for our church and our nation. Respect for yours, Xemba Reuben. Thank you very much. Welcome to the Lisa. Thank you. So, I'm going to be here. 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 I'll put on your WhatsApp group and you can receive this, this report. So, let me now take the opportunity to uh, invite the guest of honor, our Archbishop, our main visitor, and the guest of honor for this day, our dressing as we end this function. But we forget once again about we are going to move our projects. I don't see five book. We are talking. Oh, we are talking about the book. We are talking about the book. We are talking about the So, Your Grace, you can come and address us. We are going to be talking about the last speech that we are making. We are going to be talking about the Allow me to appreciate uh, my twin brother for such a wonderful report. And uh, because it is my report, I'm taking it, and uh, I will have time to read and uh, certain things which I have to communicate officially, the requests and the others. They are very important things. And also, there are certain things which I have to capture to ensure that uh, other dioceses will borrow belief since we are going in a provincial assembly uh, in August. This is very important. But uh, allow me to uh, make a few comments, uh, especially appreciating uh, uh, your leadership. This historical uh, background is very important. I see this diocese has, uh, has really produced many other dioceses. Uh, I think you may need to have family planning <laughs> because you keep on producing all the time. And now we are going to produce the uh, ritual. So we are going to ensure that uh, you produce the children who will not suffer from Washako. <laughs> so but thank you very much. Or this bishop, like other bishops, they are very kind bishops from this dust. And you know, even at the province, the first archbishop, the African archbishop, Eric Sabit, from this side, dust. So this dust is produces leaders who are not helping only here, but the entire country. So thank you very, very much. 
And I remember coming here in, in 2007, meeting all the clergy at the invitation of uh, Bishop Ebenezer Sebo. And I remember meeting all the clergy. And this diocese is producing leaders. So to God be the glory. I appreciate uh, uh, you uh, for supporting the province. Definitely, it is true. Your bishop is a strict man. He always wants to, always the right things to be done at the right time. And uh, he's one of the bishops I trust when I'm chairing the meetings. I want to see him putting up his hand. And when he does it, I choose him. And he's always spot on. <laughs> He doesn't compromise anything. If it is wrong, it's wrong. Yeah. And I appreciate him. So some of uh, such people sometimes are hated for nothing really. <laughs> but thank you for supporting. Uh, and now for for Church House, uh, we had a, a debt almost of almost 60 billion. But now it has been reduced to 16 billion. <laughs> And uh, very soon we are going to crush it in Jesus' name. Amen. And I want to appreciate uh, uh, Minister, uh, you know what you did, and uh, you helped us to clear uh, the debt which you, you had with the Church of Uganda in Tenerant, and you paid also the accrued interest which you had not paid us. You know, because of delaying to pay us, the church had accrued the interest of 18.9 billion. And we had to come in and uh, make a request. So you, you paid it, it has helped us, plus love, uh, uh, love gift which you have given us. So thank you very much. How are dioceses going to benefit from this project? Each diocese will benefit from the quarters, from, from the shares that you have injected in, and that's how we are going to benefit. And for money which came directly to Secretariat, it will be shares for Secretariat to support mission work at that level. So let me invite you to continue sending us money, because we are meeting with 16 billion. Each share is, is, is costing uh, 100 sound. And uh, that's how we are going to benefit from this building. Once the, de the debt is cleared, then you cannot send, uh, you, that, you, you not, even if you send me some money for this project, I will say, I'm sorry, I will not take it. So better take it when I'm still kind to you. <laughs> and you buy shares to support diocese. But we appreciate you so, so much. Administration, I continue to pray for unity and uh, oneness. Thank you very much. Thank you for supporting the children. Ensure you always give the first priority to children and youth. Because once you really neglect them, uh, the, devil, the devil is not really uh, sparing our children. So I want to appreciate you and thank you very much uh, teachers of our children for the great work in our schools and also in our churches. Permanent buildings, thank you very much. I appreciate you so, so much. And for these projects which are generating income, they are good. My name is called Kazimba. Kazimba means a builder. I want build. When you put up a structure, you never go wrong. Because if this uh, uh, person doesn't pay you, you just uh, make a, a three-month note. And now I think it was discussed in the parliament. And you kick out this person uh, kindly by force, and then you bring an, uh, another. And then, you, and, and then you get money. So it's good, and I want to make an appeal. All churches, wherever you are, if you have a piece of land, ensure I put up a structure, especially those who are in urban areas. Put there something. 
those of you in the villages, do like we have already suggested. Ensure you put church land to use because we have land grabbers. They have a very good strategy of stealing church land. And some of them would have been here but they didn't come. Those who are stealing church land. Some of them are baptized actually. I want to request you to stop stealing church land. And let me make this appeal to the government of Uganda to protect land for these institutions, church and other kingdom. Because when you need anything, you come to this land, see the schools and other. But if this land is not protected, it is always the, the, the kingdoms that are giving us land. And then the church also gives this land to the government to do their projects. And they approach me a lot. Could we have a person who want to do this project? And we say, yes, let us discuss, like the head of later said. So we want to have a, a good views uh, 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 that can protect the church land and also as a kingdom land, because the, this is where we are, these are the institutions that are helping the government. Sometimes you send us people in a, uh, such uh, political positions who are not God fear. They will create problems for us. Don't you do that. Either Catholic, ever, you bring people like this one who fear God. Otherwise, some people will even promote the, the, the homosexuals. They can really create problems for, for us. So continue bringing such people like him. Praise the Lord. Amen. <laughs> I have seen the washroom and it's very good. Uh, but uh, I'm happy it was already opened. Because uh, we, we got a report somewhere when Archbishop Mkoy was uh, the Bishop of Mkono and uh, your grace, uh, your, your Lord Bishop, we have the toilet, new toilets. Can you come and open them? How do you open them? <laughs> you embarrass the bishop. <laughs> education is very important. Let's give your attention to education and youth. Women, thank you very much. Women, without women, we're in trouble. Women, thank mothers and young CWF intercessors. Thank you very much. Uh, Fa Father's Union, I'm happy to see you here. Thank you very much. And I uh, thank you uh, for uh, supporting the women. Health, uh, Health Department, thank you so much. Definitely encourage people to go for vaccination. Avoid the propaganda. For me, I've taken and I've taken also uh, my booster. And uh, if they call me for another rock of booster, I'll go. Uh, because we need to be protected. And, uh, and also other, uh, like spray, nozzle spray which I use, help me, which, uh, which we gave to all graduates. I think it, the, you got, uh, yeah, that's why it keeps you for four hours. When four hours are done, then you spray again. So, so that, because we talk a lot, so that you, you are protected. Uh, I want to appreciate you for caring for the clergy. Thank you very much. And for uh, Golden Jubilee, this is a powerful project. Business evangelism, do the circle. Circle is very important. So please support your project. I want to appreciate you all. Uh, I, head of late, thank you for your report. Very scientific and the electron files uh, report with a, a lot of a, a lot of uh, uh, written jargons. We want to appreciate. Thank you so much, all of you. Choirs, thank you for your compositions, uh, and I want to appreciate even the anthem. You know, there are, in the past there was an anthem, anthem was a butter because of the context which would unite all of us. So they said, let's have to God be the glory. But we will revisit it 
and see uh, whether you can uh, visit it because we need the anthem which is uh, contextualized to, to speak to us. I want to appreciate uh, uh, all of you, I uh, appreciate uh, the Prime Minister, uh, Prime Minister, the young Prime Minister, I, I love him, he's a, he's a good man and he, he's a, an inspiring speaker. Somewhere there, and, uh, he can speak and you cannot remain the same. Thank you so much and also for our gift. You take our, uh, you read our, you take back our greetings and appreciation to the King, to God be the glory. I want to appreciate your message, uh, the cultural institution and religious institution. We need to work together in all good things that can promote our country. Information is transformation. I want to appreciate you, Honorable Minister. Thank you very, very much for your speech. And before introducing to me uh, your uh, in-law now from Bukunja, we'll meet and talk about uh, our language here, the Chikunja language. Let me appreciate you all for the gifts you have given us. They are gifts of love. Listen to this man, he's called uh, uh, Robert Greenleaf, he says, love is the only language a blind person can hear. Love is the only sound a deaf person can hear. Love is the only jargon a foreigner understands best. So thank you for speaking the language love here. Here, the language love is spoken and I've heard it. Uh, thank you so much, uh, my twin brother and mama. Thank you very, very much for your hospitality and for your leadership. Every one of you, thank you very much. May God's blessings rest upon you. And uh, I want to apologize to the uh, uh, clergy and their readers. Uh, we are supposed to meet, but uh, we, we, we can't meet because of time. Uh, but uh, whatever I, I, I want to share with you, uh, Omrisa, uh, your bishop will make that come to you. Thank you very, very much uh, for this time. May God's blessings rest upon you in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. May I request you to stand up for the final and uh, the translate it and we bless you together. May God bless you and keep you. May God uphold you. May God take care of each one of you. May God bless you for the love you have shown us. The gifts you have given us. May God bless you. May God bless all the leaders. May the Lord bless our King here. May the Lord bless all the local government leadership. May the Lord bless all the ministers coming from this place and the honorable boards. May the Lord bless all our institutions in this place. May the Lord bless you individually. May God bless you as a person, as a family. I render the devil powerless. I take the devil as a captive. And I pray that you be winners and not losers. And may God take care of each one of you. The blessings without sorrow. Of the Father. Of the Son. Of the Holy Spirit. Rest upon you all. Now and forevermore. Amen. Thank you very much, Your Grace. At Councilor, I very much,
Sima Sima Rusifai wa 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 Toroko Chapa wa Toroko Sima wa Sagiki wa Hai kusaiko mkoro gunu mfara makunyabiri mutere munga na Sima Pejara wa Daisis Pejara Pejara munga ba tuwa libahasi mkoke Archdeacons and their spouses, senior delegates, civil servants, kingdom officials, um, LOC5 chairpersons, RCC, RDC canons, leaders of other denominations, MPs, and the minister. Yeah. 